I have a long history with boat shoes, starting back in my 20s when I used to do competitive sailboat racing. I even crewed on a tall ship where we went out on these gangways and it was like being a pirate, unfurling and furling sails. A wonderful experience. It's kind of neat to be up there 20, 30 feet in the air and looking down and saying, well, better hold on, better have a good grip. Sailboat shoes are practical, but they're also stylish. I've had many kinds of boat shoes. I think I'm partial to Sperry's. This is my current pair right here. Unsponsored. I like the grip they have. The grooves. And I like the flatter profile. It's not completely flat, but it's pretty close. You can slip them on, slip them off. But the one thing I'm not so sure about this pair of Sperry's is that sometimes they come a little polished. It seems like it's roughing up the leather. So I'm going to try polishing up one. I know. As soon as I do one, I'm committed and probably going to have to do the other. I want to do a comparison on whether or not you should polish boat shoes. And I'm just going to use a neutral shoe polish. So let's go to a top-down shot and get into the details. For this, you'll need some shoe polish. Kiwi, unsponsored. A brush is very helpful and some cotton material. Whether it's these little socks I have left over from when my guys were a little younger or a t-shirt, what have you. So let's open this up and see how it is. This has got to be 10, 15 years old. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> All right, now should I use this? And where is that black coming from? Looks like it's coming from the rust and there happens to be, is that a hole? Well, actually there's a little plastic Thing over the top here so maybe there was a hole at some time intentional or unintentional so I think I can salvage this let's see what we can do here just take a paper towel and take off that grungy layer polish your polish I did have one standing by this is a brand new one but I think I'm gonna go with this it smells good and I've gotten all that black stuff off what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just take some clear tape Put it on the top so I can measure it correctly. By the way, if you ever want to keep your tape good, just use a bread tie. I'll leave a little track on there. And this is to keep it from happening again. Put the bread tie back on there. There we go. Over here. And just lay that in. You wouldn't have to do this, I guess. You could just clear it out just like I did with the paper towel every time. Or you could just throw it away. But this channel is about being efficient. And frugal. It's amazing how long these polishes will last. And swirl this around. I'll put the laces in here and just apply it on the top. Now it's going to darken it up a little bit. Maybe I'll regret this. I just want the extra protection on the shoe. And you want to get this area here because this sees a lot of wear and tear just like the back area here. And I do have like a venting area. It allows your shoe to breathe a little bit. It's a little stylish. And I'm okay if it gets a little dark because eventually it's going to wear off. I guess if you wanted to do this right, you would take the laces off, but you can just move the laces and do it like that. I'm not too worried about getting the laces a little bit. Anywhere where there's sewed areas, where there's going to be a little extra wear when you run up against something, especially if you sail, you want to make sure you get those areas. And the front. This toe area is the highest wear area. Put plenty in there. This is the polished side. This is the unpolished side. We'll give that a couple minutes to just kind of do its thing and soak in. And then we'll buff it with a brush. I kind of like the darker color. Looks like I need to touch it up a little bit more here. So the toothpick comes around here and just cleans out the holes. If you didn't have a buffing brush like this, you could probably buff it with a cotton rag just different than the one you apply the polish with. Let's try giving it a little buff and see how it does. A little bit of a shine, not too much. I don't want it like put sunglasses on shine. See how that scuffs up like that? I'm not a big fan. This will scuff, but then you can just take it right out, put some polish on there. So it just gives it a little more of a look, and I think in a better direction. It's got more character to it. Highlights. And it doesn't take a lot of buffing. You use this for black polish. 
probably not want to do it on a neutral shoe like this. Usually the buffers are good if you stick to one type of polish. If you're worried about getting polish on your hands, and I can see how some people would be concerned about that, you can always put on a pair of gloves. I just did it with my bare hands and a little bit of soap and water took the polish right off. Pretty darn happy with that. And this will protect your shoe with a little bit of polish. It will wear off over time and give the shoe even more character. I think it's better and it's going to help your shoe last longer than if you just leave it raw like this. So what do you think? Polished or no polished? I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas below. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in how to take care of your sports gear, and yes, this is sports gear because you sail with it. I guess a little bit of fashion statement. Home repairs. I even do cosplay, costumes, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.